a lot of people, right, they have this misconception that uh, because I'm a freelancer, I'm therefore very free. But I think that this is not true at all, like, because as a freelancer, right, I have to do the job of a lot of things. Normally, in an organization, there's a lot of people to help you do. But uh, as a freelancer, everything is like bao liao. Like. And also, uh, if you're sick, right, you cannot really like just take sick leave because there's nobody for you to hand the sick leave to. Like. That's last week, right? I had fever, it's like quite high, 39.5 or something like that. Then the next day it was like quite high, it shows. But also both being, just have to like continue working through the fever. La. So another thing about being in this line as entertainers is that we have to entertain la, no matter we are sick or not feeling okay. Laura, what is it to be like to be a freelancer? Greatest challenge? Greatest challenge is finding work. Find work, Isn't it? Because you're looking for your own work all the time. Ah, true project is done. Then what do you, then, if it's so difficult to find work, then why you still want to be a freelancer? Because it gives you more flexibility. Time or money? It was fun, I love working with kids. I think they are like very genuine and nice people. So I think like big edits, yeah, oh my god. Now we're actually to Mediacorp. Today I've been filming for Channel 8 drama. Uh, it's a mad rush for me today. And uh, today is actually the last day of my filming. And that means I can finally get rid of all this mustard you see over here. And I can also change my hair style and hair color. It's been a good like one month that I have this mustache. You know, I uh, saw a lot like on like I can't really multitask driving and talking at the same. I mean, driving and talking at the same time. Oh, yeah. I uh, I just started driving for a few months, so I'm still very new to driving and because ah ha ha ha, the cars in front of me likes to like suddenly just jam brake like this bottle over here. Oh. Keep your lane, man. When I was in NUS, I was in this like CCA called Voices. So basically, right, uh, Voices is a CCA that sings and performs contemporary songs. But because I don't really sing that well, so uh, most of the time they just assign me to like do MCs hosting for their sing concerts and events. So it's like very sad, uh, like what la way. I can also sing like. Na yi tian, na yi ye, na ge zhong jing. Ni chu xian zai wo shen ming. I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Okay, guys, we're reaching Media Corp. Hello, guys, welcome to Media Corp. <laughs> Last day, eh? Last day, eh? Sa ching yao, eh? Okay, we're here. Basically, right, this room is about a boyfriend. Uh, his fiance is down with some like very serious disease and uh, she needs a uh, organ donation. So the boyfriend obviously like me la, I obviously say that I'm gonna help her but uh, Somewhere along the line, I just became hamchi and I didn't really dare to help her. So as a result, uh, cannot cannot tell you the ending. So when I actually first received this role, I feel quite uh, sad for him because uh, I'm somebody who is like very afraid of like needles, surgery, and everything. So if you're gonna ask me to go through an operation which I've never done before, uh, I think it's gonna be really scary and. Uh, I think I'm gonna be like him at that, like even though she's somebody that I like, I also believe that this guy is gonna leave with the consequences of guilt, of being like such a coward. And a lot of people are just really gonna scold him and whatever. So I think he's very Korean uh, in a sense. Which also brings me to the point about a lot of people, right? If they only see me in a few scenes on television, they will automatically assume that I'm a caliphate, which I'll be quite affected like, because 
I really find that uh, there's a difference between Califair and actors. Califairs are like actors who don't really prepare for their scenes. They can just come on set and do as uh, what the director instructed. And as for actors, right, we we go through the script, we develop the characters, and we feel how they feel, and we actually try ways to connect with them. So uh, I don't do my homework. Uh, don't just say I'm a Califair. Uh. But on a happier note, this is actually a uh, Eastern Community General Hospital and that means there's going to be some Chen C. So I'm going to catch some Pokemon after this shoot. Okay, let's see how they are doing right now. Hello guys, we finally finished filming and uh, the bus got very fast. There's no Chen C here in uh, Yishun Community General Hospital. I wanted to walk over there to Ku Te Kwan, but the bus is here already. This is the end of the filming. We really miss the cast and the crew a lot. This is like the, one of the better directors I've seen and uh, one of the better APs I've seen around. Very cool, the, everybody. Since we just ended early, we're just gonna go over to Westgate to gym. Haven't actually been working out for a long time. So now just back to the gym to do some weights. Today training bicep as well as uh, arms. Okay, so this last show is about, uh, I know uh, it's like a Sing Yao kind of performance. Not sure who I'm going to see later, but uh, yeah, just going to be hosting for them and playing some games with the kids. Lah. I think it's going to be really fun. Stay away, stay away. <laughs> oh, good night, everybody. I'm very lazy at all when you're on the move. Finally done with the last show for today. Like fucking shit. Uh, later go back home. Still have to do my accounts and also prepare for tomorrow event, which is quite batong uh, and I haven't really prepared yet. I'm finally done for today. I think I just hang out with you already. So it's still a long day. Thank you so much for joining me today for a really long and I hope that it's been fun for you. And of course, we're going to see you guys next week. And meanwhile, stay awesome and be kind and be nice to the people around you.